Spotify fam, smash that like button, subscribe, and hit that notification. Class in session. Arts of Baturbia vs. Callum Smith, first Boxing Gems film study of 2024. Let's get into it. Arts had displayed a clear tendency in the Anthony Yard fight. To initiate offense, he started throwing stab jabs with level changes. He would also turn a stab jab into a level change feint to step in range and throw power. He would vary from bobbing towards his lead leg or back leg depending on what hand he chose to initiate with, making guessing was coming more difficult. On the lead leg, he would vary an up jab with the lead hand hook. On the back leg, it was typically an overhand. If he decides to deploy the same tactic versus Callum Smith, this might be the single most important factor. Callum had some issues with the same tactic versus John Ryder. Smith's reactions to the level changes were important, although Ryder is a southpaw and Arthur fights from the orthodox stance. His reaction was almost always no reaction, which take away his nearly 5 inch height and reach advantage and would allow for all of Arthur's variations off the level change. If he moves his feet, he tended to move out in straight lines and end up on the ropes. The non-reaction and the inability to get off the line of attack both saw Smith getting hit and losing exchanges. Not a good sign coming up against a champion power puncher with a 100% knockout ratio who utilizes the exact same tactics. However, if Team Smith thinks film study is as important as I do, the tactic was easily recognized and could be accounted for. The level change then attack has as many cons as it has pros, as the level change can also be Callum's tail that Arthur wants to attack. When Arthur changes levels, Callum could be pre-warned to disengage or defend and counter. He could even attack or control the level change and possibly surprise Arthur catching him before he starts. If it's a disengagement, given the distance off the level chains, Arthur tends to forward step shuffle with the jab, which is what I call falling in. At the extension of the jab and mid shuffle, Arthur is falling forward towards his opponents with his feet off the ground, which leaves him extremely vulnerable should a well-timed punch anticipate the maneuver. For example, Callum has developed a powerful left hook that could be utilized in the scenario. As at times, Arthur tends to not hold the phone when he intends to throw the backhand after falling in. or the reverse shuffle backhand that Castillo fell victim to after he attempted to change levels and come forward. 